You have high blood pressure because you're an older adult. Ignore it and it won't go away. Eat healthier and your blood pressure level will improve. Today's video will explain to you the eight situations and problems you'll have to deal with having high blood pressure. Not only that, the healthy foods you can eat for each of those situations and problems. As we get older, one of the risks that we face is high blood pressure. You start to see the numbers jump among men and women with high blood pressure after age 45. And when it comes to seniors, over 60% have high blood pressure. That's a lot. There are a lot of reasons for that, but one of the main reasons is because of our eating patterns. Hi, this is James, and this is the Self-Made Healthy Eater channel. I am an older adult and a senior. By eating healthier, our blood pressure improves. All of that may be true, but because we're older, we have some challenges that affect our blood pressure. One of the things that happens for sure as we get older is that our appetites are not as robust as they were when we were younger which means that we're eating less, taking in less calories, which is good. Less calories means less weight, which helps control your blood pressure. Unfortunately, less foods translates into us taking in less nutrients, and our older bodies require more nutrients today than they did when we were younger. As a result, the foods that you do eat have to be power packed with nutrients that help you control your blood pressure. Eating fruits provides us many valuable nutrients. One of the nutrients reported effective at helping to control blood pressure is dietary fiber. Dietary fiber is significantly important to our blood pressure health that we gain by eating plant-based foods. Dietary fiber that we gain when we eat fruits, for instance, when it interacts with all the other foods that we're eating, creates this sensation within us that we feel full, usually faster than we normally do. That helps us to not overeat, assisting our effort to control our weight. Overweight and even worse, obesity contributes to the condition of high blood pressure or hypertension. Three fruits that are high with insoluble fiber are strawberries, pears, and raspberries. Try to control your blood pressure enjoying those fruits by preparing them to eat in creative ways. One way is to take all three fruits, throw them in a bag, and snack on them throughout the day. Another is to create a fruit cocktail that you eat as an after meal dessert. Being an older adult requires eating healthier when it comes to managing your high blood pressure. So click the subscribe button below so that you may receive more videos about how to manage your high blood pressure by eating healthier. How blood pressure affects men and women changes over time based on age. Prior to age 60, high blood pressure is more prevalent among men. Now before I place the spotlight on how high blood pressure affects older women, let's keep in perspective that 70% of United States seniors have high blood pressure. By age 60, 50% of women have high blood pressure, and that number skyrockets to 80% for women after age 75. So it's very clear, older men and women have to be very deliberate in their effort in controlling their blood pressure. Two definite steps that you could take are to make sure that you're meeting your daily requirements of eating vegetables, which are two cups per day, and eating foods that are rich in vitamin C. Two types of vegetables that contain vitamin C are broccoli and red and green bell peppers. Both can be helpful when it comes to you managing your blood pressure. Toss salads are popular because they go well with just about any meal. So the next time you make a toss salad, remember, some vegetables contain vitamin C, which is good for your blood pressure. The next toss salad you make, add to it broccoli, green and red bell peppers. One of the challenges having high blood pressure or hypertension is that you can go day by day without realizing that your blood pressure level is high. High blood pressure has the notorious nickname, Silent Killer. That's because it's known for having no symptoms. The most reliable way to know what your blood pressure is is to visit your medical professional or doctor on a regular basis. You should check your blood pressure every day, but it's not realistic to visit your doctor's office daily or even weekly. So don't hesitate to have a home monitor and be reassured what your blood pressure level is. Since it's commonly accepted and reported that no symptoms tell you exactly that you have high blood pressure, it's important that you do other things consistently well. Eating foods on a daily basis that contain protein makes a difference. For instance, adding soybeans or soybean byproducts and even meats like fish, poultry, or even red meats. A popular soy food product is tofu, which you can stir fry with other vegetables and meats. Not only is it tasty, but it provides your body a moderate increase of the protein nutrient. 
The protein nutrients absolutely necessary for our bodies to function. What foods you prefer to eat for proteins? Meats like poultry, fish, and red meats? Or do you prefer plant-based foods like nuts, seeds, fruits, and vegetables? Share in the comments below which one you prefer as well as any tips that have worked well for you. A different problem that high blood pressure can create for older adults and senior citizens is loss of vision which reports indicate is sometimes lost due to damage to blood vessels in the retina. If you have high blood pressure and suspect loss of vision, it's recommended that you get an eye exam. As we know, what we eat contributes to our health good and bad, vision included. Eating dietary fats our bodies require, it turns out it also affects your blood pressure and your vision. Low fat milk and yogurt are two foods reported to have the potential of a positive impact on our vision. But we have to remember when it comes to high blood pressure, milk and yogurt are saturated fats. As a result, we should consume both in small or moderate amounts. Low fat milk is a beverage you can drink with your meals every day or every other day if you wish. A yogurt recipe that I like is a smoothie that I make often, which includes yogurt and cucumbers, a half a clove of garlic, a half a slice of onions, and then if I have it available, I mix in rosemary. So far, we've talked about some of the causes of high blood pressure, the effect or results of having high blood pressure, and some foods that will help you when it comes to managing your high blood pressure. One of the causes of high blood pressure is our enjoyment adding sodium or sodium chloride, which we call salt, to the foods that we're eating. And not necessarily the table salt that you add to the foods you're eating at your kitchen table. Even though table salt is contributing to the problem, the real culprit are the foods that are loaded with sodium, prepared and prepackaged before we even buy them, which we call processed foods. Some of them are the processed meats that we add in our deli sandwiches, or for instance, canned goods like soup or tomato sauces, and even condiments that we enjoy, such as ketchup and mustard, just to name a few. The reality of the matter is that our bodies and your body require sodium to function effectively, but nowhere close to the amount of sodium or salt that we're taking in on a daily basis. The reasons why you and I add salt to the foods that we're eating are the same reasons that the food processors add salt to the foods that they're preparing that we buy. It helps to make the food taste better. So how do we get around this? Because people enjoy having salt in their food, and in some cases, way more salt is added to the food than you realize. Herbs and spices, they do the exact same thing that added salt does for the food, which is to improve its taste. Some of the more popular herbs and spices people are adding to their foods to improve the taste are garlic and cinnamon, ginger, oregano, and thyme. When it comes to oregano and thyme, I tend to use those spices and herbs when I'm preparing dishes that have an Italian or Mediterranean feel to them. And when it comes to garlic, well, I just about use garlic for everything, especially when I'm sauteing vegetables. Cinnamon and ginger, well, I found those spices particularly useful when I prepare smoothies. They have a way of changing or altering the taste in a good, tasty, healthy way. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that a significant cause of high blood pressure is overweight and obesity. As older adults, as we grow older, it is reported that there's going to be some degree of plaque buildup in our blood vessels. Based on my readings, that restricts the flow of the blood through the blood vessels, which causes our hearts to have to beat faster and harder, which ultimately translates into our blood pressure going up. 70% of adult Americans are at least overweight. Taking all of that into consideration when it comes to high blood pressure, overweight, or even obesity, what food ideas or strategies you could take advantage of right now? The Lotus Smoothie, which consists of each of the five dietary food groups recommended for Americans by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The five dietary food groups for Americans are fruits and vegetables, proteins, whole grains, and dairy products. The Lotus Smoothie allows you to add foods whose nutrients make you healthier as well as limit the number of calories based on the weight you want to maintain or lose. It is reported that an older adult woman who is moderately active that eats 1,300 calories per day can expect to lose about one pound per week. In my case, as an older adult male, my height and weight, if I maintain eating 1,600 calories per day, I can expect to lose one pound a week. If I wanted, today's Lotus Smoothie could be my meal for the entire day. I make these Lotus Smoothies every day for a lot of good healthy reasons. One of them is to help me keep my blood pressure level in check. One of the reasons why that's possible is because the Lotus Smoothie allows me to control the number of calories I'm eating. Today's Lotus Smoothie includes a fruit, 
a vegetable, a protein, a whole grain, and a dairy products. And all of those add up to only 329 calories. No video on high blood pressure or hypertension is complete unless it includes an eating plan. And the premier eating plan is the DASH diet. DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Reports and studies show that the DASH diet lowers high blood pressure. It's an effective eating plan that encourages us to eat vegetables, fruits, and whole grains, including fat-free or low-fat dairy products, fish, poultry, beans, nuts, and vegetable oils. The internet is filled with factual information about the DASH diet, so don't hesitate to go there to find out more about the DASH diet and how it will help you manage your blood pressure. I've covered a lot of territory in this video when it comes to high blood pressure, its causes, and the foods that are effective and healthy when it comes to blood pressure and hypertension. When you become an older adult, the chances of high blood pressure increase naturally and part of the reason is due to changes in your eating pattern. It helps when we eat two to three cups of fruits per day as outlined by the Dietary Food Guidelines for Americans. One of the benefits is dietary fiber that we gain when we eat fruits. Dietary fiber is good for the digestive system, particularly when it comes to weight control. Dietary fiber helps you to feel full faster. Strawberries, pears, and raspberries are three fruits that have insoluble fiber. High blood pressure is prevalent among older men and women. However, for women, it jumps up to 50% at age 60 and skyrockets to 80% for women who are over 65. It is reported vitamin C is helpful to older adults when it comes to high blood pressure. Dietary Food Guidelines for Americans recommends eating one and a half to two cups of vegetables per day. Broccoli, green and red bell peppers are two vegetables that contain vitamin C. Plant-based proteins are known to be helpful to older adults when it comes to managing blood pressure. Soybeans contain protein and a popular soybean byproduct is tofu. I add tofu to many stir-fried meals I prepare as well as smoothies. Some loss of vision is common among older adults. A contributing factor could be high blood pressure. Low-fat milk and yogurt are reported to be helpful to your vision, but we have to remember that they're saturated fats. As a result, they should be consumed in small to moderate amounts when it comes to you managing your high blood pressure. Too much table salt added to our meals plus the sodium that's in processed foods contributes to the high blood pressure in older adults. In addition to eating less processed foods, lower your use of table salt to flavor your meals. Flavor some of your meals with herbs and spices. Some of my favorites are garlic and cinnamon, ginger, oregano, and thyme. Overweight is reported to be a cause of high blood pressure, and one way of managing overweight is to control the number of calories that you're eating on a daily basis. One way of doing that is by making loaded smoothies. The DASH diet is considered one of the best, if not the best, eating plan when it comes to helping older adults manage or lower their high blood pressure. I get a big kick out of doing the research and sharing this valuable information about healthy eating. So go ahead and click the subscribe button below so that you may receive more videos from the Self Made Healthy Eater channel about eating healthy. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the like button which is below so that other older adults who are new to healthy eating may also enjoy and learn about eating healthier. Check out these additional videos from the Self Made Healthy Eater channel. They're related to today's topic and healthy eating in general. Enjoy and learn from these videos. Share them with family and friends. Again, click the subscribe button so that you may receive more videos about healthy eating. See you next time.